Students, this next section about the admissions process is really aimed at your parents. That doesn't mean you shouldn't listen, um, but parents, this is uh, particular details for you. Um, as you can see, uh, we are a popular oversubscribed school with normally um, three times, maybe four times the amount of um, people applying for the places that we've got. We do only have 240 places in each year group. Um, there is an appeals process and you will find details of that on, on the website. Um, but it's important that we run a, a strict criteria for admission. And again, as you can see from the, the slide, um, these are the criteria. Firstly, um, the priority is given to looked after children or those with an SEN statement. Secondly, um, the children of staff members who teach and work here are admitted. Thirdly, and this is really important to us, brothers and sisters of students who are already at the school will be given um, priority on admission. Um, last year, it was nearly a third of the, the places were attributed in that way. And then finally, we are determined that we should remain a comprehensive school, dedicated and committed to the students who live closest to us. So that's the fourth criteria, your proximity to the school. I will labour this point because almost every year there is an error made by somebody and that can be quite distressing. It, it really is important that when completing your application, you do it twice. Firstly, with the borough's admissions process and that has to be done online. Secondly, as we are an academy, we also ask for uh, uh, an additional information form to be completed. That's available in our prospectus also online and then is submitted directly to us. So please don't do one and think it covers the other. Please ensure that you do both. Um, our team here, um, Angela and Ira, our admissions team, they will then work through those different applications in conjunction with the local authority as we ascribe places for next year. A key question that I'm often asked is, how close to the school do I need to live to be able to get in? And unfortunately, I'm not able to give a definite answer. As is suggested from the slide that you can see, the distance from the school shrinks or expands year on year. And in the main, that's dictated by how many siblings we get coming to the school and admitted on that criteria. As you can imagine, if there are lots of brothers and sisters one year, the actual distance out contracts. If there are not so many brothers and sisters coming in one year, the distance out that people might live gets bigger.